everyone, it's Lorelai, and welcome back to another RPG Maker with tutorial. If you've been following along with this tutorial series, you will know that we have acquired a quest from the king to get a magical crystal at the end of the crystal caves. And we have created a village where we can buy some gear to get ready for this quest. In this video, we are going to finally exit the village and enter the world map overworld on our way to the crystal caves. We do actually already have an overworld map and that is map 001. This is created when you make a new game and your first map is using the world tile set. So let's look and see what this map's all about. If you deleted the overworld map, that's not a problem. All you have to do is go back to your map list, go to the sub menu and create new map. And for your world map, just make sure the tile set uses world. Everything else is up to you or can be left default for now. Now this little island we made was just to show off some of the controls. We're gonna redo this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is zoom out a bit. And the default size of the map is actually the full size of the screen, which I like, so I'm gonna keep the size of this map. But I am going to go to the map editor before I was on events. And I'm going to go to my palette and grab the grass and make our island a little bit bigger. And then what I can do is go to flood fill, fill that in, and I might actually go add some water here. Let's go back to our pencil and make the edges of our island not so, not so square. Next, what I'm going to do is add some dark water. And this is totally optional. It's just something that I like to do to make it seem like there's shallow water and there's dark water, deeper water. And then again, I'm gonna go to the flood fill and fill that in. Okay, I'm gonna press the left bumper to cycle through my palette. With the grass, I'm going to cover up these little villages that we put down. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our castle to the overworld because we just came from a village that is right outside of a big castle. So I think it makes sense to have a castle here and then find a little village that we think looks nice. Um, it was sort of a forested area, wasn't it? So let's go with this one. Has some nice trees on it and put that right in front of the castle. Then what we need is a tile for our cave. So what I'm going to do is actually put in some of these mountain ranges just off to the side here. And then after the mountain range is done, we can go to the top of tile set B and choose one of these cave entrances. I'm gonna go with this one and put it right there. Finally, I'm gonna go to A and I'm going to pick a nice pathway to the cave. It's not really necessary, but it kind of shows that we're going from point A to point B and that is the extent of our game. <laughs> Finally, we can go ahead and make it look a little nicer. We can add some trees here. These are auto tiled, so they kind of bunch up like that, which looks nice, I think. And there we go, our very simple world map overworld. So now we have to make it so that when the player exits the village, they are transported to this overworld. And then when they go to this cave, they are transported to the dungeon. So let's go back to our map list, go to the village. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're going to turn on events, the event mode. Go down all the way down as far as you can for the most part and click this last tile here. We don't have to name it. We're gonna keep the image blank, the movement as it is. The priority is going to be below character and the trigger is going to be player touch. Under event details, we're gonna go all the way down to move and we're going to transfer player to map 001. I probably should name it <laughs> and select where we want our character to be transferred to. So I'm thinking how about right here, right in front of the village and press okay. Uh, the direction we can say retain or we can manually say they're facing down. Either one works and then press okay and then okay. So now whenever we touch this event, we will be automatically transferred to the overworld. Now let's go back to the map list, go to the overworld and do the same thing 
but to transfer back into the village. So let's select one of the village tiles, go to priority below character, and then trigger player touch. And we are going to go down to move, transfer player to the village, and then we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom. And I like to make sure they are transferred above where the current transfer off the map is because you don't want them transferring to that spot and then potentially having them being transferred back off of the map because they're touching that tile. So let's have them transfer here. And I'm going to say the direction is up. Then press OK. And then I'm going to use the sub menu to copy that and paste it here. Then we will use the same logic for entering our crystal cave, our dungeon over here, but we don't actually have that map made yet. We are going to do that in the next video. Let's just double check to make sure everything is working okay. And I'm actually going to save here so that we have quick access to this spot in the game. We don't have to do the introduction cutscene anymore. All right, let's see. There we go. We're on our world map. And then if I touch this, it should take us to the dungeon, but we don't have the dungeon yet, so no event there yet. But if we go back to the village tile set, it takes us back to the village. And then if we wanted to, we could go back to see the king, or we could buy a weapon, or we could buy some potions if we had some gold. <laughs> and that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Please consider liking and subscribing for more RPG Maker tutorials. I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> I just noticed I forgot that part. Hold on. <laughs> Phew, there we go. Crisis averted. <laughs>